So this will probably be start out pretty boring because I gotta get keepers. If you ever played this game, keepers are uh, these little crab people. You get to find all over the citadel. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for probably a bit. And then I get to actually start the game. So let me see how far in. Hopefully it has, uh, okay. So I got 10 already. Let's count how many are in each of these areas real quick. Cause I have a little thing pulled up here. Right? Okay, I guess you can't zoom in on it. Nice. I should show how many keepers are in each area. So there's four in the tower. And then in the presidium, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they have ten. So I don't think I'm I'm doing something right. So let me put this on the side here. Zoom in on the Presidium. I'll go through and make sure I got them all here first. And then I'm going to go through the rest of it. by where you meet Samish. And there's two in here. Three if you got the one on the ledge. I know I got the one on the ledge. I think that was the last one I got. If I could go five seconds without like accidentally pulling out my weapon, I'd be so happy. But I can't. Okay, so we have that one. Can I just open this up and paint? I can. Okay. This will probably be easier. Cause that way I can just open this shit up and just bark them down as I get them. We got that one. I know we got that one. I'll double check on this one. Like I know nobody can see what I'm writing on. That's okay. doing the same exact thing but I had my fucking laptop next to me on the uh, Xbox 360 trying to do this fucking quest back in the day so I, I definitely feel no shame doing it now I don't even think this really does anything besides like you get some extra XP and some money but it's like I'll I'll probably just basically say I'm 100% in this game because why not okay so I know I have that one so we'll go to this one next and the preaching and are dealt with that shit already I got scammed out of my hundred hundred credits already so I'll need to deal with that again I 
I put this on ordered windows or yeah borderless here we go see if this works Sure, it's actually showing up now. Cool. All right. Going away. I know. I know. It's shift. It's like ingrained in my head. Like I gotta hit shift. Got it. Got that one. Got that one. Fairly sure I got this one. Make way for Shepard, the specter who can't run ten yards without getting winded. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome. For your convenience, this term. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Please do not. I'm assuming I have good. that one. Welcome to. For your convenience, this terminal is programmed with information on the tower. The... Thank you for using Avena. Like, pretty Have a sure pleasant I've day. I've gotten that one because we're walking out of the tower and just being like, oh, here we go. So since I'm right at the tower, I'm just going to go ahead and go up to it. And we will, uh, feel like I might be missing one in there. How can you fight your own people, Rex? There aren't that many of you left. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Look at the tower. Where you come in, there should be one immediately on the right. I'm gonna try to pull my fucking gun out for the 22nd time. Stream. Yep, that's why I missed that one. Got the other three in here. No, I got the other three in here. So I got that one, the one that you get the quest for, and I know I got these two. All right, talk to Groth. I'm going to talk to those two. I remember I talked to that rear admiral guy. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. That's probably just not. Probably one of those things where he's not here yet, maybe? Waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Wait, did I not get that? What the fuck? Yes, I didn't. I swear I got that one already. But... No. 
Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out at... We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. I'll upload the info on where my team was last seen to your ships. I'll, uh, Maybe you I'll sit here and I'll just uh, FA jam the whole time. And just tell them that I, I got it. We've tried to create organic Which environments Italian, back on the flotilla. But we lack the space for anything as grand as this. I know Italian. It's loading. I'll pull up the map again. Let's see where we're at. I need to click something else because otherwise I'm just gonna keep pulling up my fucking map over and over and over again. So the blue is the rapid transfer. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I got these two, but I will double check and then pull up my gun. Reminds me of the. Uh, Or watch like Game Grumps. He's talking about that one. Uh, uh, it's like one of those point and click adventure games. And the guy's just like, I pull up my gun and I shot and I missed. And I shot and I missed. Like every single time I come back from like uh, changing my goddamn. Uh, or like marking something down, I click and then it just fucking opens up the gun or brings out the gun and I'm just like even if I right click maybe I just alt tab back and it'll do it and I shot again and I missed yep, got that one, okay Okay, I can just all tab. Oh, I can just all tab once, and that'll do it. Instead of having to pull out the goddamn gun every time. Good to know. All right, got that one. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, uh I don't know what that is. I'll just mark that. Uh, okay. Alt tab back in. Let's see if I can't talk to her. No. Alright, so all of them in Presidium and Tower are done. Oh, I'm drawing all over my map now. Damn it. Undo, undo, there we go. Go to the flux and ward place, I guess. Or no. Maybe upper wards. Then I shot again and I missed. So I'm at C sec. So 
So requisitions office should have one down here. Yep. That guy off. One all the way on the other fucking end in traffic control. When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorman, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. <laughs> How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Like the flashing on like the mouthpieces, I'm pretty sure it did. I don't know if you had the little like dangly bits, but uh, I better look into this right away. Any well, good luck. Hello, Commander. The fuck? Not good enough. Here, there we go. This asshole. So, power's done. Security's done. Sidewalk's done. On me, just looking at your computers. That had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan Group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Should lead me to one creep, one uh, one creeper in here. 
there's one creeper. Hey, Commander Shepard. Good to see you again. Anything you need? I have to go. Right. I love this place. The crowds, the action. It's great. I think I need to talk to that Chloe girl anymore, but Let's see what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from fists. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't. Me too. Hurt. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. My parents brought my father was I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. I'm pretty sure that lady and like one of the vendors out there was um, a way to kind of like cheese money and like credits in the first game. Because I remember, so that requisitions officer that's on the bottom of like CSEC, uh, you have to get so many credits in the game, and I think it's like 50,000 or 100,000. And he will unlock like a certain, like certain types of like armor and weapons, I think. And like the, <laughs> the way to cheese it was like, you talk to her, she gives you a discount after you're done with that mission. So you buy stuff from her at a discounted price, and then you sell it to another dude who sell who buys it back as like more than what she sold it for so you just spend all your money buying this shit from her and then you would just go and sell it to this other dude i just remember making that run over and over and over just so i just so i could fucking cheese the uh cheese the damn uh get the credits like super easy <laughs> Yeah. Okay, where am I now? Uh, I don't want to go. Where do I want to go up? Yes, I do want to go in here. Right? Yes. Right here. This is what I wanted. This dude right here. No, don't do it. Why didn't I share info with you? Because you had the internet too. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember reading a thread somewhere about like, oh, you could like do all this stuff you could like get all this extra like gear if you did like a certain thing or whatever and i was like well i want to get that and then uh yeah that's Commander, how it came to be i wasn't expecting to see you again <laughs> is there something you want you can start by telling me the truth shorban i'm not sure what you're referring to my experiments are quit stalling your friend jaleed told us about you you spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. 
Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Khalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole? We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Uh, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. I want to go back this way because... I feel like I want the... Assuming that's this one right here. This maps a little bit. A little, little off for me. points to sabotage. Make our way to the next one. Check something real quick. So, this way. I don't know why the fuck I can pull my weapons out in here. Does it make sense? Up these stairs should be one up here. Someone read 
use this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Oh. Oh. I'm waiting for someone else. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some You'll quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Goodbye. Enjoy. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volas? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think Isn't she Cora's stays Den there the just the place that like I just went and shot like everybody at? That's probably not. Do you know who her contact no. is? Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Would you? Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally didn't like shoot your sister. <laughs> I thought there was like a way you could like dance here. Hey, good to see another human. The fuck? I thought Tally. This music is interesting. I wonder she if was I supposed to be to bring back to finding something. Tiller. Play Quasar. Uh. Yes. Yes. I'll take my uh like this all I'll uh <laughs> I'll retire on that note. Uh, hundred percent win rate at Quasar. Uh nobody can say I did it any worse. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made.
Apparently you don't need to do it. I, I heard you didn't need to do the docks anymore. They changed it from 21 to 20. And that was the last one I needed, so. And I assume that it kind of like. Uh, it might put you in like a cutscene and make you like leave the citadel. So I didn't want to go to the docks until like so I was your posting at the basically academy. done. It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Where the fuck is it, Tally? A few of my people. Well, Tally, where is it? They have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Alright, so. Another guy in here I can talk to. According to this, anyways. Maybe not. Okay, I'm already going that way. Let's go back to like Cora's den. And I'm out of breath. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. Hey, After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Den is through here, so let's go this way. Let's see if that see if let's see if that chick sister's dead. See if I killed her. CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Tough girl. signal source thing. Yeah. I got business here, but not with you. Talking to me. Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell was that about? 
guess we better go find out. <laughs> and then she just gets killed. You're asking too many questions. Talk to this little meatball in here. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. Place over. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation <laughs> sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI, you're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I Easy wish now, to this escape, is a Mass Effect 3. You don't have to go but that if far. I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers. And my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Okay. Good thing, buddy. Wait, what? Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Stop. Left. Stop. Left. Right. Up, left, up, 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 left, up, left, up, left, up. Burr. Take that, you fucking blunder. My people used to have an embassy here, but after we created the Geth, 
You are no longer welcome. Hey, where do I go to get uh, talk to that keeper guy? Or do I even talk to him again? No. Got a moment? Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. But their business practices I mean, have forced me kill to himself, terminate so... our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Let me close this map up here. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your es You are the first human spec. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. I think it has something to do with like, Cerberus. are aligned. If they're as bad as you say they are, they Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Jaleed, whatever his name is. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about this the little like three data. fingers. Why would I lie to you? Uh, he told you. Trust my strong. I didn't hand. mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I. Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're, you're helping us, but, well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Detective Chelling, come into my office. I want to discuss this. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? What's your tone, Chelling? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. I'll take bets on whether or not she does this number. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, Maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. 
I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. All right. Where the fuck am I going? Not the right way. Thing, I guess. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? I didn't come here to look. Show her the goods. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid Army bitch. What the fuck? Let's go screw that guy. Negative contacts, Commander. First time I was here, I dropped a bundle in the casino. <laughs> Got so mad, I put my fist through one of the machines. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Let's go talk to that guy again, or just, uh... Yeah, okay. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Quit your whining. Here's your shipment. Damn it. I've got to get on this right away before Jax's superiors get wind of his death. What about our deal? Jenna will be removed from harm's way. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. See yourself out when you're ready. Hell yeah, brother. Check see what else I got going on here. Okay. So I know the Wong person, the Wong person, like the right person, but uh. I know she wanted something. So it's something about this data disk, but like I'm pretty sure I have it already. Should just be able to be like, hey here. Oh 
like this is still basically like your first basically like uh you know your first day uh you know as specter and you just fucking <laughs> shot up the fucking market the Wong and then I think that's I think that's like the last thing I have word on the street is that you've been busy congratulations on taking down fist I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here so did you find anything in his office that could help at me the same time. these OSDs might have the information you're looking for <sighs> you've got fist files here commander for your trouble what would my future cooperation be worth Say an interview when my investigation is over. Like punch his way in the face in you talk game. to me before you talk to anyone else. That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. I can't remember if that's her or not. I think that's it. I think so. The game cluster, Miss Marine, somewhere else, survey team, brother. That for now, anyways. So we gotta talk to the doggy bay, and then we we actually start the game. Yeah, it, it might be. I can't remember if it's her or not. I just remember there's one on the there's one on the second one that like kind of like basically runs like a smear piece on you, and the renegade option is the like. Punch her in the jaw. And then in Mass Effect 3, you come across her again and uh, you get to punch her again. But she blocks it. And then I guess right after you block it, you can just fucking like punch her again. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, we know everyone wants to hit her. So we just, we just fucking let you do it. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Yeah, this shit is why I... You see how much it is? That's why I... <laughs> She's the, uh... That's just why I cheesed it. For this armor.
You don't remember the Spectre guy? Or the, uh, the... Getting the special stuff from him or whatever? Coming up in a report later today, yeah, like I'm pretty Emily sure Wong investigates like, there's corruption like the on the Citadel one, and then and I want to say once you get to a certain amount of syndicate. credits, they might have like changed that. I swear there was a thing where you got a certain amount of credits and you got even like a, even more stuff, but that might just be like for like an achievement or something. Yeah, there's that keeper up there that you used, you used to have to scan, but now he's just up here looking like a depressed boy. <laughs> What's the matter? He's just a little, he's a little guy. Oh. He's just a little guy, look at him. My face when she's still sucking. <laughs> a private docking bay. The Alliance had to shell out for this. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. You. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it. I failed, Commander. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, stop, and Saren. we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. It should just make a counter for how many finger points are in this entire ship. We have one more lead. Game. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Yeah, that's not old. exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might so have. Much. Pretty sure he gets shot at three. I can't remember. I just know that he's like part of the reason why. Cerberus fucking gets in and like basically yes, Commander. everybody. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. I heard it's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you.
The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right, I'm like four and a half hours in to the game, and uh, stand by. Sure, we'll finally play it. Decontamination play the game. in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. All right, Joker. Here's the ground rules. If I put a VI on the ship, please don't try and fuck it. That's, a, that's it. That's the only rule. Just don't try and fuck the VI or AI or whatever on the ship. That's all I want. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. if you have to max it out because of the stuff with the uh, Rex or not. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Are you contagious? I'm sorry, Joker. <laughs> you I need to be wearing a mask, you were sick. Joker. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Sanitize. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Like how I put hand sanitizer on my finger, and now my phone won't unlock. <laughs> okay. Why didn't you ever smile? 
Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy, even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I have to go. All right, see ya. You just uh, open up that airlock. Just creep up on him. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. We'll talk another time, Commander. Lieutenant. Talk to us. I can't remember where, where Rex is. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. You didn't really talk to her about yet. I thought Tally's in like the engine room. Yeah, I definitely like fucked around with the sliders a bit and I'm I'm noticing it more and more. <laughs> like I didn't realize I had like that pink eyeshadow on. And then uh like other little stuff and I'm just like, ah, I didn't realize I did that. Five hours later. There he is. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. That's not at all what I said. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. <laughs> so we leave. Bad take, Shepard. Bad take. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, 
everyone. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? To ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the Genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. So long, Rex. Shepard. Rex. Shepard. Rex. Hey, Commander. Shepard. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my My stuff stay? doesn't come from the Alliance. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. $24,000! Just shoot him and take it all. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c -Sex handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside c -Sex. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on the vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships God that are damn. three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. 
This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? <laughs> uh, that doesn't happen often. Uh, Most captains are eager to increase one of these. the size of their crew. It yeah. increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. So I guess uh, off, we're not really off topic. So there's that one picture floating around that like uh, of Sally where she's got like their normal or not normal but like human like ish face like she's got like a flesh colored face or whatever of her mask off yeah I guess that's like actually in uh, I don't know if it's in I think it's in the third game or something like they they use like the mod they literally took like the mod and like use that picture from from that and put actually like put it in the game or whatever so picture is apparently like canon or some whatever you want to call it I can't believe they just send you off alone it's not like they just cast us out before we leave we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla and given gifts to help us on our journey we also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. really sucks. They, uh... They never did put the Quarians in Andromeda. As much as Andromeda blew, they they seriously left that fucking cliffhanger wide open. They literally just like at the very end, they're just like because like you go through the game and it's just like oh we found whatever fleet and we found this fleet and that fleet and blah 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 and it's like the Turians and the Slarians and I can't remember I think it's like a Sari or something. The Krogans are already like established on their own world and all that shit. And, uh, but then, at, like, literally, like, one of the last things in the game is like them being like, oh, we've established contact with the Corian fleet. It's finally here. And then the game just ends. And it's like, okay, so that's going to be DLC, I guess, which I kind of fucking hate that they, <laughs> like, their original plan was to, oh, we're going to put out DLC. For one of the main races in Mass Effect, we're just not gonna put that in the game, which is dumb as shit. Yeah, and then, then they don't even do it. <laughs> like, they're like greedy fucks. Like, like I would have rather that game came out like three years later than like the state it was in. Like, it was just it. It felt like a bad MMO made into a single player game. Like it, except for the controls were actually like decent, but everything else sucked. It was just not fun. I want to talk about something like else. what? Uh, I want to know more about I doubt I can tell you anything. All I know is the story of their origins, what they were when we created them and how I they talk about like what? Else. I, I want to talk about getting the fuck out of here. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you what? alone. No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our... She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset. You've got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Where else you name you a serve? class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to... My last assignment was on the Tokyo, only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. I want to know more she's about She's the, the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. She's the only one using the new Tantalus drive core. Proportionally, 
It's about twice the size of any other vessel. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Alright, I think I've talked to everybody I give a shit about. So, no Caden, no Ashley. I'll be jamming. And Commander Shepard needs to fucking hover around to go around the ship. She can't make it without like huffing and puffing. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same With team. With all due respect, ma'am, hey, that's asshole. what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Preston. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our... Some people cult. think asking for help is a sign of weakness. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Just fucking leave him. Can't stop the jams. I don't remember how where to go from here. Oh, escape. That's maybe. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda Cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He Father set Kyle. himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. You served with him. He might listen to you. But he's already killed two Alliance representatives. I trust you to use but your you just kill his ass, I don't care. Hack it out. Do what you gotta do. The swerve. Fuck am I? Like... So in each game, you have like the different, uh, basically this is like your kind of like travel, explore around sort of deal. Certain planets that you don't get to like explore. In this game, it, on ones that you can't actually go on to, it just has this. Like you, I, I just click the button, it gives you a little bit of lore and that's it. In Mass Effect 2, they give the fucking 
dumbass scanner thing. And you can still go to planets and explore certain ones. And then in three, it was just like, I can't remember. It was like some weird mini game thing where you just like fucking pilot the ship around. But, uh, okay, here we go. Bridget Baron, blah, blah, blah. So like these ones that you can actually land on or where you get to fly or pilot the Mako. See you later. I haven't flown, I haven't messed with this thing yet. I can then in the, the legendary edition, so. This isn't the one with like the Thresher Mall on it. Cause that one would be nice. I didn't think the Mako was that bad. Like I, I remember I played through this game. This is only my third time, and I know this. The controls are different now, but like I just don't remember having issues with the Mako. Like I literally died one time. The very first time I went to like Noveria, I died because I was I was purposely like fucking around and like I tried to jump that huge ass gap by doing like this shit, you know. And like, I pretty much expected to get fucking killed, so I don't even know if that counts. I don't even know if this is gonna even make it up here. Nope. <laughs> Go home, Shepard, you're drunk. Maybe that's the way up there. Jesus. I feel like they didn't do it any favors, uh, cause like, in, in no game I've ever played, I mean, I would expect like your forward button to be like your throttle and then left and right steer, which this kind of does, but one of the problems with it is like, so I'm like totally still, right? I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit right. Why is it like, just just turn right. Like I don't want it to like actually accelerate and turn right. I just want it to like, you know, not be weird like that. Ooh, okay. That's probably the easier way to get up here, but whatever. Or I run to like a fucking threshold wall up here or something, just be like, well. Good thing I saved, I guess. Oh, hey, look at these assholes. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to hit him. Oh shit. Wait a minute, I gotta get my, I gotta get my stuff. Let me get my rocks. Hey assholes. God damn, it has a fucking range on it, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's 
me get to my rocks. Where are they? Second, how do I you you get you out? All right, I get some. Uh, what? Hack the planet. Okay, got it. What? No. No. There you go. All right, been surveyed. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was my favorite part of the game. I did like blowing the fuck out of stuff with uh, the cannon on it. That was always a good time. The map. Is the map? Can I? Okay, you can set a destination. That's that's cool. Wait, what? I don't, oh, right. That's how I do it. Hold on a second. I got some guys up here. I need to liberate. I need to liberate these guys from space. Hello, sirs. Point. I'm going to talk to you about your, your space buggies extended warranty. Never mind. You're all dead. I was literally getting ready to say like, yeah, I remember there's like this part with like this uh this like thing comes out of the ground and like or threshold wall comes out of the ground and just like kinda like fucks you up pretty hard and all this and then that then it just happened. Like, oh, alright. some more Omni gel from like the junk that I have. I 
don't use anything besides a pistol, so there's no point in me. Alright, let's take those off. How do I... Can I take these mods off, or do I just, like, not... Fuck, I don't know. Anyways, I got an edge, too. Oh, well, fuck, that's all I need to know. Alright. Uh, I don't need those. I don't have any armor. Let's, uh, check that. Storms. Junk all these. Junk all these. Junk all these. So, I'll joke. There we go. Oh, I should probably look at Karis. It's not good for him, I guess. Yes, we need. I need to look at two. He's already got a scimitar. Let's give him that. I don't have anything else for him, really. Still going there. Don't fucking go. Wait. Fuck, if they made it all the way out here, just let them stay. Like, look how fucking far they are. Good lord. Nobody's gonna come out here. I mean, I guess the one guy's did, but... I mean, come on. How fucking far? Recover the artifact from the hackers. Okay. Got it. to come back to a lumpy space planet. Good lord. Like, I... You think somebody actually designed it like this or if they just like fucking... Too dumb. Uh, all right. 
Yeah, I'm just wondering if they like actually designed this planet. Like somebody spent the time and was like, oh, I'm gonna make this go up and this go down and put 15 fucking valleys right here. Or if they just have like a, gen a planet generator, you know, or terrain generator. And we're just like, okay, this is this planet. And, uh, all right, this goes here. This goes here. All right, that's good. That's probably about the only good thing Andromeda had. Andromeda had like decent planets. Well, great, but it's better than this. But Andromeda also sent you, sent you on like a bunch of fucking quests that was just nothing. So I said it felt like a single player, like an MMO made into a single player game. Why the fuck do I have to hack the fucking gold? Not everything needs to be a mini game. Like, like that, like. I've already made my way up to it. Just, just let me hit space bar on it or whatever and just, just let me have it. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Any better than what he has? No, at all. Make sure they're all the right shit. There you go. <laughs> Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. Hey, what an asshole. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what, which one. I think two was the one where the hacking was like all of these like it's supposed to be like lines of code or whatever and it was basically just like you just had to fucking match it was literally just like like match stuff up. and that was it i don't remember what three had if three even had anything Because I know one of the things on two was like, there'd be like nine boxes that were like scrolling down. They had like, it looked like it had like code in it. And the easiest way of doing it was literally just to like, kind of look at it and be like, okay, this one's got like two short lines and a long one or whatever. And that's just how, that's how I made it through the entire fucking game. Let me uh, just steal everything from here. Hello, Father Kyle. I've come to rob you blind. But for real, where the fuck? 
off that guy. What? That's where I was. Oh. There's a thing. Don't try anything. We're watching you. I'm watching you fucking rob from us. Look upstairs real quick and see what the hell. Is there a way to go across here? I'm missing? No, there's not even anything back there. Here either. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Get some water while I wait for these idiots. You know, get back and this dude is like side eyeing me. I got him. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other alliance. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. Like, maybe I'm supposed to go into, like, the other one or something, because, like, there's nothing here. It looks like I'm supposed to do something with this, but... Everyone looks at us like we're freaks. I'm pretty sure you're getting looked at like you're freaks, because... 
You fucking killed a aligned soldier. That's just me, though. Yeah, there's like nowhere else for me to go in here. There was another building, I think, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just closed the door on him and was just like, well. See ya. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna fucking leave here. Just see if I can go to the other building, I guess, because, like. Can't do anything there. See if this other building has something in it. But it's just like. Yeah, come on in, and there's a thing, and I can't do anything with it, but maybe. This one will be something different. Yeah, I'm assuming he's in this one then. It's really weird that, I mean, I don't, I, I guess I don't remember it being that way, but it, it was just like, you think they just like wouldn't let you in that building until like you're done. And then they'd be like, oh, hey, like, you know, we're good or whatever. And then they let you in there, but instead they let you like, kind of like explore that fucking building before you've even done anything. But if he's not here, I have no fucking clue then. That door is super fucking loud in my ear. Like. Alright, let me check in here for... For some free shit. Yeah, where the fuck are <laughs> I like how Garrus and Rex just are just like do they just stay? Okay. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. I mean, we have no quarrel my ass. with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones there who came is. before me. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy I did what I could to make their end quick and painless I had no other choice it was necessary to protect my children only I can keep them safe you can still get out of this alive major surrender and nobody will get hurt I respect that you have come under a banner of peace but I cannot do as you ask if you take away their father my children will be helpless You're not leaving me much choice, Major. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the others. A blasphemer who must die. <laughs> okay. character look at her arms <laughs> am i even hitting anybody definitely doesn't feel like it <laughs> her arms oh my god time for payback i'm okay jesus their arms are like Don't I have unity? There it is, unity. All right. Look at this shit. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go back and kill all those guys too. In the other, in the other building. Cause uh, I'm definitely not letting it. The 
If we're not letting that free XP go to waste. Just lead the way. I'm here if you need me. Nope. Oh, okay. So that doesn't happen again. The fuck? I think Garrus coming. I saw like a storage locker thing over here. There it is. Some free shit from the crazies. There we go. Yeah, yeah, that's my exact thought whenever I saw they were remaking it. The, uh, it's pretty good so far. It's definitely better than the, it's obviously better than the original, like the remake or whatever, but it's still got some weird stuff. Like the cover, it just feel like, I don't remember the cover feeling like as bad as it did in the old game, but it's also been 10 years because I replayed it. I played it when it came out, replayed it when three came out, with like a full playthrough. But uh, so far I'm really liking this. Fuck that dude. Rex said the same thing. Oh God, damn. <laughs> this is him getting fucking hit by that thing is hilarious. up top. Yeah, like I'm I'm used to like games like Gears and Division where it's like it's tied to a button, which is weird in here because it's like in I know in three it's tied to I'm pretty sure it's tied to spacebar. And like a big complaint with three was like spacebar did everything, and in this game it's just kind of like spacebar does some things but not everything, so it just feels weird. But yeah, Gears and like that that type of cover system is better. <laughs> Target Gotta make sure that doesn't happen again. Hey, is there another person in there? Or oh, they're probably up there. That's probably what it is. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, Garrus is dead as fuck, that's why. Whoops. There you go. Get up. I need you to take some more bullets for me, Garrus. Look out! Look, I wonder what the... Well, let me go try and see what the X thing is now. Because, like, I tried using it earlier when I came in here, and I was just like, what in the fuck is this? Like... It's nothing again. Okay. That's weird. Time to run for three yards and uh, get fatigued again. There we go. I don't remember what button makes me go back. Oh. I didn't know that was an option. Right. Uh, okay. What button sends me back? <laughs> F? Yeah, F. All right. F. F is the one. Message coming in. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We never like to see civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. The news vans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, ship. Alright, so I've been there. Survey, you got my shit. I can't remember, I don't think it's this game, I think it's Mass Effect 2, there's a planet on there and it talks about some like Krogan, it's like super, uh, super caustic and then there's like some Krogan that just like went there and then after he went there he basically like, message coming in from the brass at Arcturus, what was it, Patching it through. he did something and he went there Normandy. and was like, Admiral climb the highest mountain like naked or something and like in Verge. it turns out like that guy's like that Krogan have identified geth is related to like 15 percent of all Krogan because he fathered so many out. babies it's like damn we have any idea what they're after Hard to say they may be just gathering intel on us or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for a hit and run it could be Let's hope time. not. Finding Saren is still your top priority, but we're transmitting all the locations. Yeah, I don't remember where, like... So maybe go to, like, a like, our actual moon, but... Let's click on all things.
I think that was like, there was like the time I was talking about in Noveria where like I actually ran off the ledge because I was doing stupid shit and a threshold wall was like the only two times I died in the original game to like while I was on in a Mako. Like I died other times, but that was it. <laughs> like, just those two times. I was gonna fucking steal everything anyways. Professional Shepherd, or uh, Commander Shepherd, Professional Space uh, Bargain Finder. but I have it. I saw something where uh, there was potential to like actually make a well, kind of like remaster three or like, not three, but like look. But basically, like make the, the multiplayer available with like the new graphics, or whatever. But I don't even know if that's even needed, honestly. I feel like they should just put the old version of the like of three's multiplayer and just let people play it like i guess it actually still has like a somewhat like decent community going on with it it's like i just i don't understand why they don't just like package in the old multiplayer with three since you're buying the game and just like hey uh can i just play it like this instead of having to download Aspect three, and then you know, go about it that way. Let's 
check these guys' items real quick. I think I still have like a shitty one too. Oh, no, don't do that. Just that one instead. To me! Like, no, don't do that. Uh, what does he have points in? He has a lot of points in that, too. Okay, I guess that would be a better idea for him. I forgot I had this button. This one. Let's put these. That's kind of stupid. There we go. <laughs> this AI. <laughs> It's been fucking forever, and I probably just murdered him super quick, so. That could have been part of the, uh, the hacking thing, too. Yeah, like, uh... I guess it's still fairly alive as long as you're playing in either it's like the easiest i guess the easiest difficulty you don't really have very very long queue times and in like the next not the next heist the one next like gold because there was like bronze silver gold plat and i want to say plat was the version where it just it wouldn't be like okay you're playing on this map with this enemy it was just like It'd give you a map and it would just completely randomize the enemies and they're all like stupid hard um but i guess people don't really play flat too much they only play on bronze and gold but yeah it would like i don't i don't want to download mass effect 3 just to play the multiplayer when i have mass effect 3 right here which is kind of dumb but... Whatever you want. I don't know if that's just like their dying animation or if it's like a suicide thing or what. But yeah, I would definitely jump back on if it was just part of this. Who knows, I might even download Mass Effect 3 once I get back from vacation. Just to uh Something's happening in here. Just to check it out, because maybe people are playing it more now that this came out. I don't know. What the fuck am I jammed in here for? If that's any better. What I got. think maybe anything for you years yeah I do actually nothing for old Rex though <laughs>
Gotta have Rex out here just hanging dong. Wait, why is there more now? So oh, they ambushed us. Destroyers are so much scarier in this game than all the other, all the other ones. Just because they do that shit. again hey Wait, is there something I needed to do in here no what I think I need to do is not get fucking murdered I think Say they did not fix the Gleco very well. Three more of these outposts left to clear out. This should be fun. But what is happening over there? What the fuck? No, go backwards. There. Fucking planet, right? All right, I think that's gonna do it for me tonight. I did a three hours, three and a half hour stream or something earlier, I think, when the game first came out. And then I did another, this is two and a half. 
so call it there i'll probably do play a little bit tomorrow as well um and then i won't be on again until probably like wednesday i'll be off for three days so yeah uh thanks for anyone who was watching have a good one